Good morning, Spartans. Welcome to our new season of Spartan TV. I'm your host, Carissa McLean, along with Ashley Montez. And it's my partita, and you're watching Spartan TV. Hey, Spartans, it's Aiden Roman. Welcome back to Spartan TV. What does graduation mean to you? I think graduation is about your achievements and doing good and completing high school. You graduate high school by getting good grades and having a great GPA. I also think it's about going to college and becoming an adult. Graduation is also about doing well in school so you are motivated to graduate. By graduating high school, you have better opportunities when applying for a job in the future. And a lot of kids are excited to graduate and get to college, and most colleges prefer a high school diploma. Graduation is a big accomplishment in life and is very exciting for kids and families because a lot of people aren't able to graduate, sometimes due to their grades. Kids do a lot and get good grades for four years straight to graduate, so it is a very good feeling that all the hard work you do pays off. At the end of the day, you accomplish something big in life. I totally agree with Aiden. Graduation is especially important for all of our seniors that work super hard to get there. Yeah, I'm super excited for graduation this year. Yep, and this graduation ceremony will see our senior Spartans safely celebrating the end of their high school career. And to stay safe, you know we gotta wear our masks. In case you need a reminder, here's how. Masks. Yes, masks. We're, since we're in quarantine because of a global pandemic, we're required to wear masks to prevent the spread of COVID. Unfortunately, most people have tested positive from it and have passed away from it. So I'm here making a PSA on how to properly wear a mask. And I'm here to show how to use a mask. First off, make sure you're wearing your mask on properly. So that way people will know that you know how to use your own mask. Finally, don't have your mask below the nose or above the mouth. Have it on both the nose and mouth to prevent your breathing from catching the virus. So those are my solutions on how to wear a mask. That video was super helpful, don't you think? Yeah, I still see some people with their mask under their nose and not over. Maybe if people would just listen and wear the mask, we wouldn't be in this mess for this long. Wow, I can remember that all as if it was just yesterday. Yeah, I can too. I miss going to school and also the football season. But we have to keep our heads up and keep looking forward. Yeah, that is true. We should all keep our heads up because at home, we all have our own troubles. Yes, here's one of our Spartans showing us the troubles of being the older sibling during this whole distant learning chapter of our lives. Hello? Hi, Kashmir. I called you because um, I don't want to interrupt you or bother you in your room. Could you please uh, watch your sisters? I need to take your grandma to the hospital. She has a doctor's appointment. 
Okay, yeah, I will. Bye. Um, can I you can I play games on your phone? Thanks. Close the door on your way out. Okay. Okay, it's fine. Back to work. Ha! Can you show me the pubes, please? Okay. Finally, somewhere quiet. That was such a good representation of all the struggles that our older siblings out there are constantly facing. Absolutely. I know the feeling of just wanting some personal time and not having to worry about others. Yeah, even though our younger siblings annoy every cell in our body, they play a huge role in our lives. And to show what a huge part our family plays in our lives, let's take a look at what family means to some of our Spartans. What family means to me is that we should care about each other and help each other do things when we need help. What family means to me is someone you can trust with anything, care for, and be with comfortably, and they could um, they have that same exact feeling with you. What family means to me is being loving and supportive and getting that in return. I can relate to some of the responses. Yeah, family is always keeping me busy, but being at home all the time, it's still boring, no? Loneliness. Sickness. Anger. All of these problems come from one thing, boredom. And so, today, I present you with... 10 Ways to Solve Boredom. For this list, we will discuss all the things you can do when bored. So without further ado, number 10. Go on a walk. Walking really clears the mind and can truly be calming to others. Number nine. Play some basketball. No matter how bad you are at basketball, it's always fun to shoot a couple buckets. Number eight. Make yourself some food. Making food is always fun and eating it is even better. I mean, look at that hot dog. It's gonna make me act up. Number seven. Stare at a wall. Number six. Play with your pets. My dog's name is Muggsy, and he's pretty small, but he's pretty fast as well. He's kind of like NBA legend Muggsy Bogues. Number five. Do some exercising. Personally, I like to lift weights, but to each his own. Number four, go and watch some movies. Number three, stare at a different wall. Number two, stay up until 4 a.m. editing a video for TV production class. I just want to go to sleep. Number one, listen to some music. Well, that wraps it up. I hope this list helped you out. See you, Space Cowboy. Well, Matthew definitely gave us some cool and creative ways to get rid of our boredom. Yeah, for sure. I might have to go try some of those whenever I get bored again. Maybe not the staring at the wall one though, but if you're like me and like to be a bit more active, then take a look at Hugo's ways of getting up and getting active. Dude, come on, you've been on that all day, get off. Come on, bro, there's four people left, let me finish. Let's go do some exercise. Fine. Hello, Hugo here. Guys, look, I know quarantine is keeping everyone inside for a while now, but being inactive and looking at those screens all day is bad for you. Lack of physical inactivity can add to depression and anxiety, and also increase the risk of certain cancers. How about this? Every day you go outside for at least 30 minutes, run, jog, play some catch, do something that will make you sweat. Get some vitamin D, not sunny D. I'm not talking sunny D. 
get some vitamin D from the sun, and I'm about to do my 30 minute jog. Be right back, guys. Stop the cap. <laughs> One eternity later. All right, I did my 30 minutes. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. I hope you're enjoying the show. Peace and love. Well, that really makes me want to get up and move around. It's always good to keep yourself moving. I agree, but sometimes it's hard to find that motivation. Yeah, it's also hard to find the right workouts to do. But lucky for us, Sean gives us a couple of workouts to stay in shape. Check it out. What's good, y'all? I'm here to show you a couple ways you can stay in shape at home. Let's get straight into it. First off, we got our push-ups, just regular. Then our close push-ups, put your hand into a dummy, that's the same. And then our wide push-ups, just spread your hands out wide. Now moving on to our lower body, we got squats. Followed by front lunges. And after we're back lunges. Now moving on to the core, we got sit-ups, then V-ups, so try to keep your balance when you're doing these, and finally bicycle kicks. Man, Sean knows how to keep us in shape. Yeah, it's so great that he's so motivated. Yeah, but you know, for some Spartans, it's hard to stay motivated, especially when going through things like depression. It is widely known that stress, anxiety, and depression create challenges for both society and individuals, including students. Sometimes we tend to overlook comments, jokes, or attitudes and push them aside as nothing serious. With that being said, it is important to look for gestures that you believe could lead to a suicide attempt. Actions such as withdrawing from friends and family, isolation, loneliness, or dramatic mood changes are some to be considered. Knowing the signs is the first step, and reaching out can be as simple as telling them. I noticed your change in mood and want you to know that you can talk to me. Don't be ashamed and reach out for the help you deserve. Producer Kashmir Garnika was spot on with that PSA. And you know, she got an honorable mention from the Directing Change statewide competition for this piece. Nice, I can see why. You know, during this stay at home season, I came to realize how much the kitchen helps my mental health. It keeps me busy and entertained. Oh, then you're gonna love our next package. Hi, my name is Valeria. I'm here to teach Aaron how to make an omelet. Yeah, I've never made an omelet before, so let's Hello, go ahead and make one. Aaron? And today I made an omelet with Chef Valeria. She told me how to make an omelet. So the first step you want to do is you want to crack the eggs on the counter or something to crack them against. Once you crack them, you put them in a little bowl and you stir the bowl with the egg in it till it becomes a clear, a clear liquid. After the clear liquid is made, you're then going to turn the stove on. After you turn the stove on, you let it cook for a couple minutes. You will then put cheese on it, as much cheese as you want. You can put as much cheese, whatever you want. After it cooks for a couple minutes, you flip the omelet in half. That way you get an omelet and you enjoy it. And that's all you need to do. It's pretty good. I like it. I learned a lot on how to make this omelet. I think it's pretty tasty. You did an amazing job today, Aaron. Thank you so much. Maybe next time you can teach me how to make another recipe. Well, I know what I'm doing after the show. Yeah, the omelet looks delicious and it's good in protein. Well, ladies, I think our time here is just about done. Oh man, I was really having so much fun with you guys. Hey, we'll be back soon, so Spartans, make sure to tune in the week after spring break to check out what your TV Spartans have in store for you. Let's wish our football Spartans a great season as they play their first game this weekend. Producer Annette Mendoza had a chance to capture them at practice, but even though crowds are not allowed, you can follow them on Instagram at Herba Hills Football and show your support. Stick around for the credits to catch 
the show. I wonder what that's all about. We'll see, but in the meantime, make it a great day, Spartans. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Hello, and welcome back to the show. The show where we show things. And discuss those things. Yeah! We show them, all right? That's what I'm talking like about. Like this, and that thing, and also that dead dog over there. And this picture of a bunny. It's a lovely day today. You know, we don't have a set yet, because uh, someone spent all the money on gambling. Uh, Let me tell you it? a tale. It starts me. As you can see. What are you doing, dude? Are you trying to, dude? Are you trying to bring back your rapping career? Yeah. It, dude, it ended horribly. You got shot. You got shot like six times. Are you trying to get back to that? I have a dream. I think there's a kid playing out in the field over there. You know. Why do you keep on pointing out the kid in the field every time we do this? So you should you should play you should be careful when you play soccer, because the ball might have COVID. You know what I mean? No. What are you doing? Oh, what the? Hey, hey, wait a minute. No, I'm not gonna chill out about it. Dude, just chill, okay? It's it's just a joke, honestly. Get out of my face. No, keep it out of my face, man. No, you don't just stop. Stop it. Stop. No. You're taking this too far. Are you serious? That's all you could do? I mean, you are so weak. I don't know. Let's get uh, we're back after some technical difficulties. Um, you have some serious anger issues, man. Anyway, uh... That's... Shut up! Dude! Just such. Oh my god. We gotta close this show. Screw this show, man. I don't wanna do this show anymore. You hit me three times in the face. That. Whatever. There's, there's nothing else uh, in this for this week's episode of the show. Uh, thank you all for watching. And have a good night. <laughs>